guys! Nice to see you today! My name is Natalia. Do you know what time it is? That's right, it's party time! At today's lesson, you will learn how to talk about parties and how to ask someone to come to your party. Let's learn some party words first. An invitation. Can you believe Jessica gave me a handmade invitation to her party? This is so cool! To invite. I don't know if I want to invite my cousin to the party. He is such a pessimistic person. A celebration. I heard you got a thousand subscribers on TikTok. Will you have a celebration? To celebrate. I don't like celebrating my birthday because I hate organizing things. To offer. Millie is very tired, so I offered to help her with cooking. To decorate. I think we can use little pumpkins and paper bats to decorate the hall for Halloween. To order. Do you think we should order sushi or pizza for the party? An anniversary. I can't meet you this weekend. My dad is celebrating 10 years of his company today and we are having a huge anniversary party. To bake. I believe we should bake a cake or cupcakes for Kelly's birthday this week. A wedding. I know that everyone cries at weddings because the people who get married look so pretty and happy. And now let's practice a bit. Pause the video and read the sentence on the screen and choose one word from the box that fits the best. One. Oh no, I think I forgot to invite my sister to the wedding. She will be so angry. 2. I can't bake her any cupcakes. I don't have any ingredients, not even sugar. 3. The celebration of her birthday was so long, I got home only at 9 in the evening, but the party was worth it. 4. My grandma has a big anniversary this year. She is turning 70. 5. Can you see that grandpa is carrying big bags? Should we offer to help him? Hey, you did it! I'm very proud of you! I'm not sure if you like parties, but I do. I'm even organizing my birthday party this Saturday, so now I need to make some invitations for my friends. First, I take the invitation. Mine looks like this. I'm writing an invitation to my friend Jordan, so I put his name there. Dear Jordan. I need to tell him what kind of party it is. I'm happy to invite you to my birthday party. Then I tell him when to come. The party will happen on the 27th of November at 12 o'clock. We will celebrate at the aqua park and then we will drive to my house and have some pizza and snacks. For many people, it is also important to know when they will be free and can go home. The party will end around 6 p.m., so your parents can pick you up then. If there is something important that a person should bring, it's better to tell them about it. Please don't forget to take your swimsuit and a towel. Then I just put a tiny end in like, hope you can make it. See you there. Hugs, Natalia. And voila, the invitation is ready. Now I just have to make 15 more of those for all of my friends. Now let's check if you understood everything. There are some sentences on the screen. Pause the video and choose all the correct answers from the list and put a tick next to them. The question is, what should you write in your invitation? You can have more than one correct answer. Let's check. The correct answers are A. Date of the celebration D. 
things that the person should take with them. E. The time when the party ends. G. Your home address if the party is at your house. Well done! I knew you could do it! Now that we've already talked about invitations, it's time to organize other things for the party. Do I have decorations? Hmm, no, not yet. But I have already made snacks. Now you have a chance to remember the rules about such wonderful words as yet and already. The rule is super easy. Yet is for things that haven't happened until this moment. I haven't done my homework yet. Already is for things that have happened. I have already finished reading a book. We use both of them with present perfect. Be careful! Yet we put at the end of the sentence. And already we put after have has and before the main verb. Now let's do a fun exercise. There is a picture of a room on the screen. And there is a list of activities that you need to do before the party begins. Think about how you can transform these activities into sentences with yet and already. For example, Take the toys on the sofa away. Describe the picture. Anna has already taken the toys on the sofa away. Now pause the video and do other activities in the same way. Let's check. Anna has already put the snacks in the orange bowl. Anna has not baked a cake and put it on the table yet. Anna has already decorated the room with balloons. Anna hasn't decorated the room with flowers yet. Anna hasn't put a chair for grandma yet. Anna hasn't opened the windows yet. Well done! This is the end of our lesson. Now you can easily make a party invitation to any celebration. If you could, what party would you like to go to? And maybe what party would you like to organize? Think about it and write your invitation to it. I hope to see you guys at the next lesson. Bye-bye!